Hey guys, welcome back. And today we're going to be talking about how to throw a drop and more specifically a turnover drop. So I know a lot of girls will tell you that they throw a peel drop and that's great because peel drops for a lot of pitchers do create a lot of movement. We strongly prefer a turnover drop here at Fast Pitch Power because we just feel it allows for a looser wrist, which creates more spin, more speed, and more bite. So today we're gonna to be going over how to throw the turnover drop. And like I did for our changeup video, we're gonna be going over the two most important things to remember when you're throwing a drop. And I'm gonna show you how we go through the pitch and I'll demonstrate it for you in a little bit. So probably the most common issue that I personally see with the drop is girls just not getting their hand to the correct spot at the end of the throw zone. So remember when we release a drop, yes, we want that hand to be very low and we want it to be spinning down, but that hand still needs to get down and out past the front leg. Probably the most common thing I see with drops is girls spinning by their back hips. So they'll let go of that pitch back here. And while you might have very good spin on the ball, it's not going to reach the plate because you're not getting to the end of the throw zone. So that's when if you have a pitcher and you see that her ball is bouncing before the plate a lot, she's probably releasing her drop too soon. But the other really common thing that we see is girls coming out first like a fastball and then pulling their hand down. It's really important to immediately get to the correct spot at the end of the throw zone for any pitch you're throwing. As soon as you come up first, even if you pull down afterwards, that pitch is going straight like a fastball because that's how you're firing it. You're firing that hand out as if you were throwing a fastball instead of immediately getting to the end of the throw zone. So tip number one for your drop, always make sure you're immediately getting down and out past the front leg. The next really common issue that I tend to see in pitchers with the drop is kind of trying to create that downward spin movement by using the shoulders, the hips and shoulders. So it's almost like they're trying to create spin by rolling over with their shoulders instead of focusing on lower arm, wrist and fingers. What's gonna happen here, what you're gonna see when pitchers do this is you're gonna see a lot of inside outside misses because the hips are getting in the way and the arm is getting away from the body because we're using the shoulder instead of the lower arm, we're gonna see slower speeds for our drop, not as much spin because we couldn't be as quick with the wrist and fingers and because we use mostly the shoulders and a lot of inside outside misses. It's very important really for any pitch that you throw to keep that arm nice and close to your body when we deliver, which means we need to still be staying nice and tracked facing the power line as we're delivering this pitch. So. Tip number one, make sure we're getting to the correct spot at the end of the throw zone. Tip number two, make sure that delivery is coming from the lower arm, wrist and fingers, and we're staying nice and tracked, not trying to turn that pitch over with the shoulder or the upper body. Now, before I go into showing you guys what this is gonna look like, let's talk about the grip and the spin real quick. So the drop, pretty easy. We kind of just grip this like a fastball. So we've got our C grip, the thumb goes on the bottom seam, and then the other four fingers reach across, to the other seam on the other side of the ball so we can get really good four seam rotation. And then the spin, we want to spin over this ball so we're getting that four seam rotation going down. But again, we want to make sure that our release is down past the front leg. So let's take a look at what this pitch is going to look like. And I'm going to freeze on the finish so we can talk about a few things. So I'm going to load. All right. So I don't know if you guys can hear that, but that actually perfectly hit my drop ball target. I'm pretty proud. So let's take a look at my finishing position here though. So you see that my hand immediately got to its finishing spot. I've turned my hand over. A good cue that I like to give my girls when they're learning the turnover drop is to focus on your pointer finger pointing down towards the ground when you deliver so that you know your wrist and fingers are nice and relaxed and you're getting your hand to the correct spot. Now, you'll also notice that as I froze on the finish here, it looks like my body is very slightly forward. My front shoulder is a little bit lower than the back shoulder. This is my drop ball angle, and it's important to get to this position when we're freezing, when we're getting to power K. So unlike a fastball where we're in power K and our shoulders are nice and level and we're nice and back over the back foot for a drop ball, we want to get very, very slightly, very slightly, 
not a lot. We still need front side resistance. We still need our upper body to kind of be behind the front leg, but we want to get very slightly forward over the front foot and have a sort of drop ball angle in our shoulders. This creates a nice drop ball path for us to deliver. So if you were to freeze in power K for a drop ball, you would see that my front shoulder is a little bit lower than the back. My glove hand is a little bit lower and I'm a little bit forward over the front foot. And then from here, I'm gonna deliver while maintaining that position. So let's take another look. So we're gonna load, push off and go. So this has been how to throw a drop ball. So again, on Fast Pitch Power Plus, which is coming out soon, we will have instruction, more in-depth instruction with more troubleshooting for the turnover drop as well as instruction for the peel drop. And we've got a ton of drills that you can do to practice your drop ball. So if you're interested in that, be on the lookout for that coming out very, very soon. We've got more instruction for movement pitches coming out right here on YouTube, and I'll talk to you guys next time.